It's called the Zimbabwe hand drive. Instead of counting calories and weighing out your food, you take your hand and you use that as a reference measurement. The base meal plan is to eat a palm of protein, a fist of vegetables, a thumb of fat, and a cupped handful of carbohydrate dense foods like grains or fruit. The beauty of this is that you can automatically go out and eat just about anywhere and eat whatever you want. And now you have the tools to make the changes to your meal to suit your needs. Take a Big Mac for example. It might have roughly that palm of protein, which is awesome, but it probably also has more than a cupped handful of carbs and more than a thumb of fat, especially when you take into account the sources. And it probably doesn't have enough vegetables either. And if you order it with a fries and a Coke, well, that's definitely gonna push your carb and fat portions well above your needs. This isn't about judging the food as good or bad. If you like McDonald's and Big Macs, you can eat them. But you also now have an immediate reference point to be able to make good decisions around portion sizes and where you might need to make some changes, whether it's in that specific meal or if you need to make deductions later on to account for it. What I personally do is I keep a running daily tally of all of these portions, of how many palms of protein in total do I need to eat each day. And then I choose to eat those maybe four palms in just one meal and none in another if I had to. I also take this a step further and I've worked out not just the average start point of one palm of protein, one thumb of fat, one cupped handful of carbs and a fist of vegetables, but I've gone and worked out more accurate start points for different sized people based on different goals. If you want to build muscle, you probably go a little bit higher in some portions like carbs and protein. If you want to lose fat, you'll probably go the opposite direction. I've got this all worked out and done for you in Gambaru method, so you can just show up, get your portions and tick it off in each meal each day. But if you didn't want to join and use it, it's still incredibly easy to start. Just have three to four meals a day following that base template. Give it two weeks of consistency and problem solving around fitting it to your lifestyle. Track your body weight, track your performance and energy throughout the day. And then make changes. Notice that you're losing weight and low on energy when you want to be building muscle. Well, just increase your portions. You have the base plan to start with. Just go up by another palm of protein or maybe a cupped handful of carbs or something in between. And just rinse and repeat as needed. It really can be that simple. No calorie counting, no weighing out your food, just basic consistency and structure. You might think that it's not gonna be as accurate as weighing things out, but when you start thinking about just how inaccurate calorie counting can really be, with food labels having up to a 20% allowable discrepancy in their reported values versus the actual numbers in the food, and things like the differences in how your body will digest and assimilate the food, which is probably completely out of your control and based on genetics, is probably gonna wind up being just as accurate. If you enjoy tracking your numbers and weighing out your food, keep doing it. I've done it in the past and it worked incredibly well. But I also know for many of you, it's a dead end. And there's no point forcing yourself down a path that isn't working for you when there are so many other options available at your fingertips.